Hey guys, Sonic Smash Bro here, and I am officially fucking pissed. For those who don't know, Ruby. Quite possibly one of the most famous series as of now, and the first truly American anime made by Rooster Team, specifically Monty Ohm. And it's taken a turn for the worst to the point where I'm considering dropping the series as a whole. But before we get into the reasons why, let's discuss what the series was in Volume 1 and 2. It was amazing. Each character had a personality worth of them, with the exception of Cardin, maybe. Each one was very well developed throughout the course of the series, and there was so much humor to the point where it was basically comedy gold, with a good bit of action thrown in every once in a while. And dear god, the soundtrack! I cannot stress this enough, Ruby's soundtrack is practically god tier. But on February 1st, 2015, Monium sadly passed away, rest in peace dude, and that left Rooster Teeth to take over for Volume 3. Try and guess how I felt about that. Yeah, we don't discuss Volume 3 in my presence ever. And it's time I said all the reasons why. Fair warning, this rant will include a ton of bitching, so if you don't like it, too goddamn bad. So let's start by discussing the Vital Festival Tournament. Emerald manipulated the entire crowd and the officials into thinking Yang Xiao Long, who you can see on screen right now, broke Mercury's right leg well, one of his legs, I think it was his right, yes it was, if I dismembered it, in fact, when it was only fractured. And that forced Yang to get disqualified, later on Mercury making a stupid decision trying to walk around, lucky no one caught him even, but basically that's when the situation took a turn for the downhill route. Then we get into the later parts of it all. Ugh, that was already painful enough, but let me discuss everything else. First of all, Beacon gets destroyed later on, and Professor Osman goes missing. Yeah! And it gets worse! Later on, Piranikos, another favorite of mine, ends up killing Penny. Quite possibly the most quirky character in the entire series and a fan favorite for good reasons. And that didn't go too well among most of the fans. Also, for those wondering, I will bring up the cheesy joke, she did in fact turn Penny into quarters, but the contradictory with that is, wouldn't that mean there's more pennies? But I digress. Speaking of favorites, top five. Going from fifth to first, it's Penny, Blake, Pira, Ruby, Yang. Because Yang is just that awesome. But we'll get into her later. Ugh, dear god, the rage is already boiling. But, yeah, that was already bad enough. Later on, we also learn of the four maidens and the plot point with them. Pyrrha ends up going to absorb the fall maiden's power, wherever the fuck that was, I actually don't know, because I didn't watch volume 3. Not that I care to. Cinder interrupts with a fucking arrow out of nowhere, quite literally nowhere, therefore becoming the new fall maiden. And through that, she ends up killing Pyrrha. Yes! Cinder Fall killed Pyrrha Nikos. Quite possibly the most important character in Jean's development. And Ruby's reaction summed up everybody, myself included, perfectly. She was fucking pissed! To the point where she did not only a good number on Cinder, but flat out wanted to kill her practically. Myself included in that respect, because you do not kill Pyrrha. To that end, you don't kill important characters in general. Yeah, I know Game of Thrones did the exact same thing, but I did not have the shielding of Game of Thrones, okay, people? But that's not even the worst of it. Volume 3 brought back a character from one of the four trailers, Adam Torres, specifically from the Black trailer. This asshole has no sympathy for human life at all. In fact, during the Black trailer, and I quote, when he was going to set the detonator charges, Blake was worried about the crew members. His response? What about them? He didn't even give a fuck. So if that wasn't enough, if Pyrrha and Penny's death wasn't enough, if the fact that Beacon got destroyed wasn't enough, if the fact that Austin went missing wasn't enough, Adam ends up cutting off Yang's right arm. I'm not fucking kidding. He cut off Yang's right arm. 
that was a bit too much on Blake, and she went off who the fuck knows where. Weiss was forced to go back with her asshole father, also part of a lighting issue there. There we go. And yes, her father is a total asshole. And on top of all of that, they basically ruined Yang's character and her personality. What was she originally? A fucking thrill seeker with a love for fighting just for the hell of it, more so for the thrill of it, and she was full of puns left and right, always caring for her little sister and the rest of Team Ruby as a whole. Then, when she gets her right arm cut off by Adam, fuck you, you bloody bastard. And by bloody bastard, I mean Adam. Fuck you, Adam. Fuck you! Basically, that was the tipping point for me. Because she went from thrill seeker with puns to resting bitch face like leave me the fuck alone. And then we get to her volume 4 design which was leaked about a month ago but I'm a little late to the party. I am not fucking happy. Once again, her arm is still missing, which is to be expected to be fair. But her personality seems like it's taking a turn for the I don't want to fucking be here anymore route. WHY?! You not only killed off two of the most important characters in this fucking series, you not only basically split up the entirety of Team Ruby, who are pretty much the core of the series itself, not only did you make the mentor of the team go missing, Professor Ozpin, yes, I know he's the headmaster of Beacon, but he's practically their mentor, but you ruined my favorite character in the entire series, and the fan favorite no less! YOU RUINED YANG Xiao Wong's CHARACTER! YOU DO NOT DO THAT! I know I'm getting loud, but who the fuck cares right now? Fact of the matter is, they are practically ruining the series and the foundation that was left by Montiel. Basically, you kill off two of the most important characters, as well as two fan favorites no less, you split up the main team, you destroy the original foundation of Beacon and have the mentor of Team Ruby and headmaster of Beacon himself go missing. And you flat out ruined the fan favorite of the series, Yang Xiaolong herself. You ruined her character, Rooster Teeth. Thrill Seeker, full of puns, cares for the entire team and especially her sister, and can kick ass. You took that whole thing away from her. You don't do that. Just why? Like, I am basically on fucking fire right now. Not literally, but you know what I mean. And volume 4 does not look like it's going to fix the situation at all. Rather, it's only going to make it worse. And before anyone goes saying, Mechanical Arm, totally gonna happen, Atlas is currently at odds with the entirety of Remnant. Well, more so at odds with Vale, but point is still there. Atlas is at odds with Vale, but that alone would disprove the Mechanical Arm theory. And I'm a pecky son of a bitch, so I'm gonna say it right now. If Yang gets a Mechanical Arm, I'm still dropping the series. Yeah, I'm that pecky. Anyway, yeah, I am running out of time on the recording, but that's really all I had to say. Just why I am Sonic Smash Bro, and you better fucking fix Yang's character! And if you don't fix her, you're getting one of these.